Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be ranking the top 5 Terraria summoning weapons. Now, summoning weapons in Terraria summon minions which follow you around. And as you can see, I have chosen to be a summoner um, as my main class. So I have the Stardust Armor which gives me a 5 extra minion boost. Um, which obviously very helpful. Today we're going to be ranking the top five weapons based in damage, based in utility, based in use in combat basically. And we're going to be fighting them against the Queen Bee. Um, all for except the Pirate Staff. Now, coming in in the number four spot is the Xeno Staff with an average of 40 damage per hit. Now the Xeno Staff is very good because its fire rate is extremely high, so it can keep track of enemies that are fast like Queen Bee, like Plantera, like, I don't know, the Twins. Uh, very good, nice damage, but not that good. Now in the number 3 spot is actually the Tempest Staff. Now the Tempest Staff is really good for mobs that aren't bosses. The bosses, its accuracy is too bad and it doesn't get the job done with an average of 55 damage. Now, as you can see, I had to cut the clip because way too long of a fight. Wouldn't suggest like trying to use the temple staff on bosses. In the number two spot is the Stardust Cell. Now, with an average of 65 to 70 damage, it is very good because it locks on very accurate very fast um now also with my armor equip and buff you can use five of them which will obviously slaughter enemies not so good at uh midi enemies though the enemies that aren't bosses in the number one spot is the stardust dragon with an average of 40 to 45 to 50 this is such an overpowered summon. Look how fast it killed Queen Bee. It's so overpowered. It goes it goes through walls. It goes through any block. And you can stack it. So with my armor buff, um, you can make the dragon longer. More powerful to an average of, I don't know, about 300 damage. Which is by far the most powerful on this tier list. Sadly, the pirate staff, however, was not on this tier list because it was too unreliable in a boss fight scenario. Even with five of the summons, it was still not good enough to fight Queen Bee, even at my level. I did actually die fighting Queen Bee, so yeah, um, that is why it comes in at the bottom on the tier list. Um, that is it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching if you want more terraria videos or videos in general make sure to leave a comment a like and the big old subscribe um yeah that's it for the video um more content coming out soon on terraria hopefully if this video goes well um so if you want to give me suggestions for videos that would be very much appreciated and i will see you in the next one thanks bye